Right then, welcome back. Weekly challenge time. Yes, it's Thursday, which means we've got five more challenges over the next six slash seven days. Uh, December week two. I'm not sure where week one went. I might have slept through it. Or it could just be that it's the 7th of December and they class that as week two. Um, right, five challenges. Uh, American FR550, yeah, average. Japanese FR450, is that Sukuba? Yeah, that'll be a bit dull as well. That's good at Grand Valley, the World Touring Car 600. That gets really fast at the end. Hypercar Parade, that'll be daft. We'll find something suitably silly. And then World Touring Car 700 at the Red Bull Ring. Um... I like Deep Forest. I'm not a massive fan of the Red Bull Ring. I think it's quite synthetic in its layout. Tickets, six star parts ticket for doing one event, 200 grand for doing three, and a six star car ticket for doing five. They're being generous, very, very generous, I feel. Um, first one, American. FR Challenge 550 uh, at Big Willow. What is it? Three laps? Two laps. Um, and we've gone with the 1960 Plymouth XNR Gear Roadster, a concept car from way back when. And if anybody watches Gotham... Is it Gotham Garage? I think it might be Gotham Garage. Um, yes, they kind of built a replica and put their own kind of twist on it. Um, don't know a lot about them. Straight six, um, very sought after apparently. When they come up for sale, they seem to fetch half decent money. But one man's meat is another man's muesli, and all that. Um, Big Willow, it's quite a quick, windy track. And that corner right at the top end does my app just up there, just at the top, well, sort of like middle left of the screen. That corner is hateful, uh, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Oh my good lord. Um, we're a little under the limit at 5.20, but it should only serve to make things a little more interesting. Or so I hope. Ooh, she's long-geared. Thr a three-speed gearbox. Spoilt. Ooh, she handles like a boat. I don't know what I was expecting. Oh, dear me, a three-speed gearbox. Uh, Really? Oh, we're on the dirt. We're on the dirt. We're in trouble. We'll go for that again, shall we? Um, it doesn't handle very well. It also doesn't help when you get it on the dirty stuff. Plus, the super bird. I always get super birds and roadrunners mixed up. Super birds have wings, roadrunners don't. Well, I say that, that's just me taking what Richard Rawlins says on Fast and Loud as gospel. He kind of knows what he's talking about, I guess. Well, she's a big 1960s pile of wobbly jelly. A bit like that Corvette. We will do very well to catch the Viper that's probably out front. I tell you something, it doesn't half rev. It doesn't half rev for something from the 60s. An American, they didn't used to like revs very much. Oh, here we go, here we go. This is dodgy. Oh, she's a slider. Fifth, I take it that's first, just a little ways up the road. It sounds well, I must admit. It's got a lovely little rasp. Don't you dare force me across there. Thank you. It's not a Viper out front. Mr. Solis, what are you doing? Third position, sir, that's not good enough. Come on. Z28 Camaro, what is out front then? 
Oh, steady. Everyone's diving for the same bit of tarmac. Oh, it's a Mustang. Of the five litre variety. Right, that's second. So we've got the ticket in the bag. Can we get first? Oh, she's on the slide again. She certainly does like a bit of a slide. I don't think we're going to have the go to catch that Mustang. Unless he bottles it through the last corner, I think he's going to be alright. Ooh! Oh, Captain, that was a bit wild. I won't lie, it ain't the nicest thing in the world to use. And I'm not entirely convinced if we throw a load of money at it, it's going to get any better. Right, we shall call this one done. Um, I... I will leave you. Because it's a short race, I'll probably... In fact, we'll do the full replay. Why not? Seven and a half miles. Need to do a couple more, don't we? Ooh, go on, a six-star roulette ticket for parts. It'll be a set of suspensions, probably. Right, I will leave you with this. Um, and I, fingers crossed, um, we'll see you tomorrow. But thank you for watching. Thanks for commenting, liking, subscribing, sharing, all of the usual jazz. And yes, hopefully, I will see you tomorrow when... We're going to go to Sakuba in something Japanese and hopefully boosted. See you then. Take care, stay safe. Peace.